Welcome once again to the Double Tree Sweetwater Inn. An extended stay hotel here at the Hayward Theater. No, it's Dynasty Typewriter. Once again, very happy to announce to all y'all that Harmontown is now in session. Sorry for the late start, but let's make up for it with our game master, Spencer Crittenden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's bring out the mayor of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon. Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Rapping perfunctorily. Rapping is perfunctoral to me. Rapping is just a thing you see when you come out at the top of the show. It's like pee. It comes out of your dick and goes on the floor. And then you rap a lot more. And then you want to rap less. You're a victim of your own rapping gimmick. Just look at your phone and try to get through it. No one's forcing you to rap, you know. I'm not in charge of this. This is Zach in the booth who's running this. I, I, I don't have the button on this. No, I know. I'm not. I'm just oh, okay. looking, at my, looking at my notes. Uh, listening to my inner monologue. No one's forcing you to rap. You don't have to do it. I forgot my water. I'll be right back. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid to start the show by just looking at people and being in the moment and engaging? Yes. My name is MC Fear. I don't want to be here. The world's falling apart. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, welcome, welcome to... I should either commit to a rap at the top of the show or I should, I should just say thank you very much and, and proceed right now. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. We're, just th we're just our third week in back in our honeymoon with the live audience, so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Feeling it out. I don't know how to start we're a show. I don't know how to... We're, we're trying to get the audio dialed in for, for the home listener and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, if anyone <clears throat> hears me talking, I, I think I've mentioned it before, I have a, a bad thing in my throat, so uh, it, if I sound weird, that's why. Yeah, you're going to get uh, vocal therapy surgery soon. I am. I'm going to have a little surgery and take a little polyp off of my uh, vocal fold. I, and then I, I can't talk for two weeks. Isn't that going to be exciting for my girlfriend? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm already, I already got an app. I'm already working on replacing you. Listen. See, Dan, as a, good, as, as a good friend, Dan has already... I was thinking I'll get a little chalkboard like Beethoven and write things down. And I, I, they gave, the doctor gave me a little button that I can wear that says I'm going through... Uh, like, what's, what does it say? Like, uh, n no talking. I can't talk because I'm going through, like, no, a thing. And vocal rest, vocal rest yes. And so with Dan, because he's a techno genius, instantly got to work to help me, his good friend out. Hey, everybody. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> you can put other phrases in Yeah, we're talking way. about... Maybe like get like some fan out there or something that could just make me like a big file of MP3s of some of my favorite phrases, and I could just come out here and just just DJ my my own inimical sense of wit and wisdom. We already knew we had to put this one in here. Ah, uh, oh, uh, it's 9/11. <laughs> do do I have to be British? Mm. And then of course my favorite. Dan, that sounds like you should do a rant. Uh, I guys can't really understand him. He said, Dan, Dan, that sounds like you should do a rap. 
How's your uh, how's work life going, Dan? That's good. I'm just I'm just writing. I'm just trying to get done with this thing, and I uh, just want to kill myself. Um, <laughs> but but uh, it's probably it's probably for the best because it, it keeps me off of the Twitter for the most part, and that's a mess. And I'm having a good time at Rick and Morty. We're back in the writers' room for our, this are. Uh, how 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 far into the 70 uh, episodes are you so far? We're just we're just brainstorming, you know, like stuff. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I wanted to. T- well, here's a, here's for my notes. So there's this uh, there's this button. Did I did we did I talk about this last time? I don't believe so. <laughs> how, do you, you, how do you know? Oh, because I said it, there's a button. Okay. Uh, I mean, it could be. I mean, we talk about buttons all the time. How do you know? <laughs> There's a, a crosswalk button. If I mention this crosswalk button, when we were working at uh, Rick and Morty in the old uh, Burbank offices, and th- there was this there was this beeping sound that would happen all the time that I always thought was a frenetic version of uh, a weirdly arrhythmic version of, what, of like some kind of like uh, you know uh, hearing impaired or uh, visually impaired, I guess, uh, crosswalk uh, audio. Like, like sometimes they make little cuckoo sounds, the crosswalks for the, for the folks that can't uh, see the, 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 the walking people yeah. pictograms. And uh, so the, the light will go like cuckoo, cuckoo, which means, I guess, walk. I don't, I, they better tell them that. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's something. I just, must, someone must coordinate with them. But but I always thought maybe there's some version of that because I'm just here. That's like. <laughs> just coming out from the so this window. <laughs> and, and, and and there's uh, and and I, and I think at one time I was like, what is that? And someone's like, that's the crosswalk. And I was like, okay, that confirms that. See, then, then the months go by, and I'm like, no, what is that? Is it the crosswalk? What do you mean it's the crosswalk? Like, it's crazy. And, and it, I, so I, one day I go, I go down there, and I'm, I'm going to go across the street to the liquor store, and, I, and I, I, I hit the button for the crosswalk, and it goes beep. And I go, you got to be fucking kidding me. Beep. Beep, 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 Like, I'm like, that's what people are doing? Like, wow. Like, and then, sure, I go out, I look out the window, and there's everybody says like, I have so many questions for this person. Like, like, what? So, do you? How, are so you live in a society where you are fine with the fact that this button really just doesn't work, but you are not quite to the point where you're gonna be Han Solo and just bound across the street, like, 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 like because fuck that button. Like, you're. You're like, well, the button doesn't work, and that's fucked up, but I'm going to press it a million times. Like, like, oh, it didn't work again. It didn't work again. It didn't work again. Like, you, th- you think the button's supposed to work instantly? Or is it that you think it's like a, like the, like a, like a slot machine kind well, of game the- where there's like a window where like, you snooze, you lose. Like, I, I checked back in with the button, and you were, you, were, you were touching your purse. Fuck you, lady. And so you're just like, like I don't know when you, when you decide... I know someone engineered this thing to give me the feedback of, yes, the button's been pushed, because obviously some engineer for the city like, came back and got, guys, I, I know this is hard to believe, but people are pushing this thing 8,000 times a minute. Are you sure it's not like kids just making like little EDM, like, like, like having fun making music while they wait? I waits? work above this thing for years, and I'm telling no, it's every human being that goes to that crosswalk. Um, uh, just like old, young, like whatever, like they're just like, beep, 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 like, like, it's like it's like this weird. Like, Maybe it's like Jeopardy. Like the person across the street hit it first, and then you would locked out, and you got to hit the button a bunch of times. Yeah, that's it. That's. I just. I, I just. That's, like, that's, ga- that's hardcore game show knowledge. If, if if you if you hit the the Je- uh, Jeopardy buzzer before the little light goes on that says you can now answer the question, that's why you see people hitting the button like a thousand times because they don't. They, they if I it. thought that that's how the button worked. I would not push it. I would go. I would push it once, and I would go. Well, if it's going to be like that, fuck it. And I'd walk across the street. And if the cop was like, woo, woo, "You're jaywalking," I'd be like, "You better prove to me that that button works. <laughs> Show me how it works." And then they'd be like, uh, "And then that would resolve it." Or, or I get to go across the street anytime I want until that happens. Wait, do, 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 do the siren a few times. 
Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. I'm trying to layer some sweet tracks so we can have a full song by the end of the show. Um, All right, well, that was that thought. I guess that kind of shit the bed. Wait, there was one. There's no pressure. I forget where we were. Enjoy my thoughts. We we were like in Kansas City or St. Louis or somewhere, and sometimes a a gentle voice goes, Walk. Mm. Walk. And then that lets you know. Yeah. Uh, But there's one, he goes, Stop. If you, if you hit the button and, and it's not time for you to go, say, go, stop. It's, the, the, the thing actually yells at you. It's like, don't, don't, no, stop. But they're like, I they mean, don't, don't try to no, walk. No, I think they're telling you don't. Well, yeah, they're telling you don't walk. Yeah, but it, yeah. I think it doubles as. Don't start walking. Yeah, also, stop fucking pushing the button. It's, oh, well, I don't. Oh, oh you're, say, you're saying they should add that. They should go, yeah. They should add a sound that says, hey, the button's been pushed. <laughs> You're good until an entire cycle of getting what you want either happens or doesn't happen. You, you definitely only have... It's, think of it like an elevator. <laughs> an elevator. I'm like a six-year-old kid. Think about it like spaghetti. Uh, biscotti. Uh, the, 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 the think about it like an elevator. I was going to say, you fucking moron, and then I found out I can't say the word elevator. Yeah, you, got, you, got a, a, you got 11 kind of people undercutting. waiting across the road, and everyone's just standing there chilling. Out. Everyone's looking at their phones. And you're, stop! And everybody looks up, either because you're being told to stop what you're doing, or is someone trying to cross the street, they're going to get hit by a bus. It's, it's really alarming. And you've got uh, those new buses that are silent, those, like, those completely electric silent buses, that are just, they're going to kill everybody. <laughs> the whole point of a bus is that you can hear it coming. That's the whole point of a bus. <laughs> yeah. The fact that somebody was smart enough to say, let's put some seats in this and make some money. <laughs> uh, you know, people ask me, Dan, you're, you're kind of a social media uh, uh, master. Like, uh, I'm looking to spread my influence, uh, boost my signal. Like, I, I, how do I get more followers? How do I get my... I want to I wanna be able to use these social medias to uh, 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 make a difference in the world, and I don't have the uh, reach that you or uh, Joel McHale have. I, I, don't, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't accidentally get born right, right, right around uh, the time that would make me 30 when Twitter was invented, so now I got a fucked up username that's 20 numbers long, and I got two followers, and I don't know what to do. And I say, here's, look, here's what you do. You just, you just like, go onto Twitter and you look for the things that are getting retweeted by the thousands. Oh, that got a lot of retweets. Look at that. People really liked reading that, and then they clicked retweet after they saw that. And then you click reply to those, and then you just argue with <laughs> yeah. another person who has two followers. If you do that for eight years... <laughs> I promise you, you will gain five followers because you're performing for an audience of two and uh, you're a fucking idiot. Anyways, I don't understand. It's like, it's like a tent for somebody to go, hey, I don't understand. Why are they t- taking babies? That seems bad. And it's like 10,000 retweets. You know what? That person's job is kind of done. Like, they're not really a dragon for you to slay. And then you just, I just look at the responses and it's just like, people are like, yeah, but what do you think about the ramifications of the... Why don't you just fucking tweet it, like, like on your own thing? Because then eight people... What do you think... Who do you think is reading this? You weirdo. Why are you arguing? Like, what are you... Are you climbing this person's wall and going like, Yeah, I have a thing to say about that. It just seems kind of weird. Like, I just... You always look at the... Look at the number of retweets and likes that the... <laughs> Eventually, I would bring you out. <laughs> get used to it. Used to it. Get used to it. Oh, he's blowing it up. Get used to it. Used to it. Get used to it. It gets worse. The closer you get, it gets worse. The closer you are. Yeah.
Rob Schraub, everyone. We had such a good show last week. Go a little short, man. Short. Oh, get, so, get, so, get feel get, the lens. Yeah, get no, get the light lens. Get that the, show was great. You were talking to Judd Apatow. Yeah, nobody was, nobody was playing. Hello, Dan. Chair games. I haven't, uh, haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I. You know, you're looking good. Oh wait, that's so that's gonna feed back, right? If I bring the microphone over here, isn't it that? Might. Just don't, just don't point the mic at the thing. Like this. Don't shout. <laughs> I won't, I won't. Thank you for not. You get some kinks to work out. Sure. Uh, <laughs> that was a great thing to happen after you said we have some kinks to work out. Oh boy, you know, <sighs> seven up, seven ups really got to start bringing their A game. I think. I mean, I think Sprite is winning this white soda war. I mean, remember? Remember the Uncola? I mean, they used to own the fucking airwaves, man. Now I go into a restaurant, you know? I say I'd like 7-Up, and they say, Sprite okay? I mean, like, when's the last time you had 7-Up? I mean, be serious. When's the last time anybody had 7-Up at a... Place of business. <laughs> you know? They really, I mean, they, they just, they backed off. It's tortoise and the hare. You know, they were just like, what are they going to do? <laughs> what? Okay, Slice. All right. Yeah. You're going to try to take us down? You're going to try to take down the Uncola? We got the dot. We got the red dot with the sunglasses, man. You're gonna try to take us. To, okay, fine, whatever. And they're hanging out, and Sprite just is like slow and steady. Wait, wins the race, man. And they fucking took, they took it over. They took it over. It's gone. It's all over with, man. What are they doing? What are you fucking doing, Seven Up? Get in the game. Fucking start ideas. Give me ideas, Seven Up. We want what happened to your campaign? What? I, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Don't you care? I mean, like, really? I mean, God damn it. I mean, I'm not... I'm not alone here with this, right? No, no right? Because I, I used to be a big bubble-up guy. See? Yeah. And where are they? You don't hear them anymore. <laughs> Seven Up is going bubble-up pretty soon, man. <laughs> <laughs> is that the name of a also a sprite alternative? Yeah, from like Bubble the, Up from like the 1940, 1948, yeah. I think. Yeah. There's a song. There's a song with Bubble Up in it. Yeah. Rainbow stew and a silver spoon. I think you what, you, what you're saying is Seven Up used to be used to own the market because they, they used were to the, be the, the Coca-Cola Uncola of alternative. Right. The Uncola. The Uncola. Crisp and clean, no, no caffeine. caffeine. Ha, right. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They had the steel vagina guy in the fucking commercial. Steel they vagina. Had him locked. Yep. It's That's like Jim Henson. He dies, and now the company's done. <laughs> yeah, there must have been some Steve Jobs of. Uh, well, I, th I think, think didn't Sprite get bought by Coca Cola? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Seems. <laughs> I don't Somebody, know. I, I mean, oh. I just you know I mean like you kids know about Seven Up, right? Anyone? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It could be something. Something people don't know about. Well, our first guest... What uh, about you, Spencer? I'm not finished. <laughs> Spencer, what is your opinion? Oh, uh... Have Why you do you have drawers in front of your desk? <laughs> uh, I have to get uh -oh. a pencil. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> 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 
I should have probably got a piece of paper first. <laughs> what's on the other side? No, what's on... What's on? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I understand I, I, why that I got... want this to be like an advent calendar where every show we open up a new thing. Uh, I, so everybody listening, you know, just like, not that I care about the free listeners. I mean, uh, like, I like the subscribers more, but even they sometimes listen to audio only. But I'm saying, like, it's, you know, last week, fucking Apatow killed it. Like, great. great. I haven't listened to it. <laughs> I just saying, How unattractive like, is the is the the actual desk side? Of the, no, that that is that is the desk side. I what gotta the, tell you, it's not great back here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the side like, you want to be like, looking at. It's, it's, it's all just shitty, like raw plywood in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. designed to go up against a wall. <laughs> it's not like a a <laughs> command desk. Are you okay, by the way? Like, your Instagrams are starting to look photoshopped. Oh, yeah, people were saying that. It was, uh, that's, you know, that was those MySpace angles. It turns out, you know, you can take pictures from flattering angles. Holy shit. You look like a goddamn pirate. I know, it's amazing. I was upset. <laughs> I mean, happy. No, but you, uh, you, you, right. you, 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 look, you look hot. You look hot in it. I'm getting there. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> let's bring out an old friend so of the Boston's show. So Boston's coming up. We got that show. Let's come on. We, what? You made me sit out there waiting. I had to come in here with a fucking a balloon. <laughs> with you, a fucking a balloon. You didn't have to. <laughs> I don't understand why I have to wait 15 <laughs> minutes before you can bring me out. Like a fucking, what the heck am I pedaling or something like that? I can't come out. I'm a second-class citizen. I gotta roll in here. Uh, I guess we'll bring Rob out. I, ju- I, I have no idea if you're ever gonna bring me out there. I have to come you, in. You Wait, you have you have no idea? Yeah, how I would have you? No idea. You have no idea. I have no idea. That's fair. Okay. I have no idea if I'm, I'm ever gonna. I'm fine back. <laughs> <laughs> James Adomi and everybody. James Adomi. Let's bring James Adomi in out. Oh yeah! It's been a long day And I've been taking the wrong way I can't tell if you need a I was the first guest, right? Yes. Yeah, I, mean, oh, I was yes. hoping I didn't just accidentally t- steal someone's spot. No, it's not, I mean, don't even... I don't I'm not even a wanna, guest, I'm I, a fucking part of the show that comes out <laughs> later when we a, get to it. He's a phenomenon. <laughs> I'm so, I, you know, you could tell, you could even hear me trying to, I was trying to get you out here. Oh, yeah, no, I was, I'm fine. This guy's a friend of the show. There's drinks back there. I've known you since you were 19 years old. I'm a friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shows have friends. <laughs> I love that a show, like, takes a friend out to the lake yeah. and, like, talks serious stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe that maybe that friend like sometimes needs to go all the way out on the lake and then there's a single gunshot at the He was a friend of the show. Let's keep it at that. <laughs> I know it was you, Kumail. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. We did not no, kill him. No, we won't. Uh, we will not be yeah, hi, uh, how are you, James Adomian? I'm great. I'm fantastic. All my projects have been canceled, so I have nothing to plug. <laughs> I'm free. I'm liberated. Thank you. He knows Gorka. I was actually watching. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll always get like Harmontown highlights suggested in the YouTube margins. And uh, wait, you get yourself marketed to you? Yeah, I don't, and I swear I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the algorithm is because I hate myself. That's probably it. Like I'm sure I click on shit that says like I'm an asshole or something. But it's just like. I, anyways, but 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 that's but, like but, an that's like the emperor in Star Wars like jolting himself <laughs> with his powers. But it's actually a really nice thing because it's been th- almost 300 episodes, and there is it, I, you're self-loathing. You too tend to just go, oh, everything's always been shit. And then there's like people out there that'll they'll pull like little clips and they'll go, this is an amazing moment, and they'll give it a nice title. And you go, yes, I will click on the first time James Adomian did Bernie Sanders coming out of the show. And it was here. And you you debuted this you, was, yeah. you debuted your Sanders impression. Bernie on show. Sanders debuted on Harmon. Town. What? That's crazy. 
at the meltdown. He, and he was, he was... I like just that as a pull quote. Bernie Sanders debuted on Harmontown. <laughs> and the political scene, the mess that it, the stage that became coated in blood was so clean back then that you could see me not knowing. I had asked Demorge Brown, who's Bernie Sanders? And he <laughs> said, oh, it's that black guy that uh, is a ben, ben Carson. I was like, oh, it's Ben Carson. So I'm oh. introducing who I think is Ben Carson. I don't know either of their names. And then you come out in these wigs and... Uh, there were, yes, there were two wigs on the side of my yeah, head yeah. at the time. These two really awful wigs, like bobby pinned together and... On, both on backwards. It was very good. Yeah, yeah. That's how you. That's 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 DIY. What was the, what was the ride like? You had a homespun version of like I know always like like oh there will always be that feature in Variety or something about like oh this guy got cast on SNL and who little did he know that Gary Hart would become such a thing because that was one of his impressions and but you 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 just did it like. Uh, 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 yeah, there's no the, danger. The weekend of... style, like mixtape style, like turned platinum artist. Like you, you, your Bernie Sanders became like a cottage industry that you, you controlled. And yes, and uh, look, as all <laughs> industries, I believe that the Bernie Sanders industry should be strictly regulated. <laughs> there should be no monopolies, and the workers should take control of the impression itself. Were there, were, 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 are there any little tidbits, or are you tired of talking about it? Like, 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 like the the ride of like, holy shit! You started, you 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 got in the ground floor of this impression of this guy that has become like the the Tony Stark of well, yeah. this Marvel movie that's lasting four years. It changed rapidly week to week. When I started doing it, I knew and loved Bernie Sanders, but I thought I was doing an impression. Of someone who was doomed, like uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Dennis Kucinich. Yeah. So I, my angle was, well, I don't have a chance. Yeah. Within a week, there were these 30,000 people crowds, and I was like, that's not the angle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started doing it, it was like, this is the biggest crowd I've seen. Ha, 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 big laugh. But after a while, it was like, I can't believe I'm playing a room this small. Which, 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 kind of, which must parallel his journey, I assume, if he were up here. Right? Yeah, I think go. he definitely started in a Volvo somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I see a good Volvo or an old Studebaker on the, on the road, I'm like, that's Bernie Sanders' car. But was there any, ever any moment that, that really, like, uh, where that just the absurdity reached a height for you where, because the political fervor of all of this and the fact that you're out there doing a guy, was there anybody, like... I don't know what I'm expecting to hear, like someone yelling, hey, James, and then like throwing paint on you and going uh, like, yes. stop making fun of him. You're part of the problem or the opposite. Uh, yeah. like, or, or, like, like, there, was a, there's a couple of, there was a couple of like uh, b broken brains that uh, thought that making fun of Bernie Sanders is like not allowed because he's perfect. And I'm like, no, I like him. I'm, right. I'm echo. I am a second Bernie Sanders. I'm trying to say the same things and get the message amplified and also work in some more radical things. Like I got to call for the legalization of psilocybin mushrooms, which he wouldn't do, but I was like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> because I, I, I read a piece in the New Yorker that said that your impression of him might have cost him two and a half points in the primary. <laughs> Thank you. Was that, was that an article or was that like a two-person New Yorker cartoon? <laughs> Where there was like an ill-shapen therapist <laughs> talking to a desk with drawers in yeah. the front, and it was actually it was my winning caption. That wasn't even one that had. <laughs> it's I, a contest. I, yeah. <laughs> but um, we, the in, sometimes people thought of, from our advertising that it was really going to be a Trump versus Bernie debate when we were on the road. Mm -hmm. Me and Anthony and Tamanik, and um, in Boston there was a big sign on the front door that was like. Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders will not be at the show tonight. Right. These are comedians. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> because they had been getting calls, apparently. Oh um, speaking of, so, yeah, his, Anthony's uh, Trump impression, fantastic, and was like, a, like, 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 but everybody's like, I mean, that's a guy that's like, everybody's got a Trump impression. Everybody has a Trump have, impression. Have you, have you dabbled? Like, do you, you're... Uh, you know, on the, I, on the road, I, I, do a, I do a Trump impression because I feel like I have to. Because <laughs> I went to... I was in Europe, and I'm like, the American who does impressions. And if, like, if you don't do a Trump impression, they're right. just like, you failed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like kind of a hard impression. Like, there's a surface that's just like, based, like George Bush, not going to do it. Like, you just kind of like that. Like, the Trump version of that would be like, I'm Donald Trump. 
I don't know. I, I tried it. No, that's no. it. That's but, a like, stunt. There's a stuntedness. But to he the has book. like a tool. He has like a like a, like a weird jagged toolbox well, of like. Anthony of, Tamanik is my favorite. He has the he does the breathy thing. Right. You know where it's just. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mostly just ape his impression and give him credit one fourth of the time. Yeah. But uh, but there's uh, there's something I love that Donald Trump speaks like he hates people from other cultures and places and races, but he speaks English in a way that would be useful if you were learning English for the first time. <laughs> Or if you're teaching it to someone, because yes. he uses very simple sentences yeah. and easy words. He's like, we used to be bad. We were so bad. In the past, <laughs> we used to be bad. <laughs> now, here in the present, we're getting better. We're so much getting better. And in the future, we're going to be great. We're going to be great. That's all three possibilities. <laughs> He's conjugating like a George verbs. Carlin set too, like like the way like Rick Moranis' impression of George uh, Carlin. It was like, am beats, I on the, beats, beats? You want beats? Am I beats on the me. plane? <laughs> Why are you, are you on the plane? I'm not on the plane. I'm the plane is grounded. It's a low energy plane. <laughs> you got more. You want more stuff? You got to have stuff to put your stuff in. Well, now you got to have stuff and put. I'm trying to do George, George Carlin's ma material as Donald Trump, in case that's, <laughs> that's not clear. That's what I was trying to do too I, with I, you on the plane. No, I, you did it, and then I tried to come in and join the party, and I killed it. I don't. You uh, have owners. You think you're free? You have owners. I mean, come on. I'm I'm your owner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a George Carlin bit. Thank you. We're gonna make Sorry. a cage. It's gonna. Hold so many babies. So many children are going to fit in so many cages. <laughs> I like right? to think of right? them as hard cradles. They're think, hard cradles. Think of, them, th think of them as big boy pens. Big boy cribs. What was that? I want to check in with Spencer for some, for hey some uh, Spencer. It's a, it's, a new, it's a new segment called Spencer Splainies. Yeah. Spencer so Splainy. Oh, sorry. I was just so excited. Sorry. Oh, okay. I, okay. Well, it's yeah. a, it a weird theme a song. A lot happened at once. Uh, well, I wanted to check, because I clicked on the thing where the, the White House lady was going, like, like, where it was like, hey, this is misinformation, and then she's like, I watched like four minutes of it where she's like, this is the reality of it, and all this stuff. Like, for, for these people, like, as we're all tweeting and, and like, uh, 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 being alarmed and going like, boy, does this feel a lot like... Uh, like something from history books and things and all this stuff. And then there's like, there's one chorus of counter argument, which is this, it happened under Obama too. And yeah. all it's like such a scattering of like signals. And I just don't know if you've parsed any of it. Because well, a good rule of thumb is everything Republicans say is a lie. So <laughs> if you start from there. No, but, but specifically, I, I understand that, uh, well, my understanding is that policy that everyone's pointing to in bad faith to lie to people is that unaccompanied minors found at the border without parents were detained. So that's not good. But, <laughs> so, I mean, you either leave a kid in the desert or you don't leave a kid. In the, so, so, I mean, it's not, it's not a comparison. Also, you know, Obama wasn't great. He was, the before Trump, a real deporter guy, but he... He got them out of the country. He didn't keep them in uh, concentration camps. So it's, it's hard to really compare the two. The thing is, politicians are bad even when they're not as bad. Yeah, so Obama is bad even when he's the best president I know, you know? But he was, yeah. So does that answer your question yeah, or am I? Well, okay. Dan, Dan, hang on. If you're going to ask him another question, I want to take another pass at, uh, at a thing. <laughs> Thank at, God. At, well, at, yeah. at a, I, th I think you Jesus owe us Christ. another. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the, so no, first, first, tee up the segment, and then we cut to the graphic, you know, and the whole thing. Right. Uh, I haven't played the song in a long time, so I'm not sure it's perfect. But we'll, <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff going on in the news, and I can't tell my ass from a hole in the ground, and I'm too selfish and rich to really care that much. <laughs> That's when I turn to my friend Spencer for Spencer Splainies. Last time on Spencer Splains. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have the code, Senator? <laughs> this isn't ketchup. People are dying. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> that is ketchup. You bred raptors. 
<laughs> wow, it seems like we missed an episode. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, most programs that are evil originated in some uh, version that people didn't realize were going to be so evil at first. Yeah. Uh, but the, 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 uh, Obama did not have a clean immigration policy. Right. It was, was bad. bad. Yeah. And there were people at the time saying, hey, eventually someone's going to get a hold of this power and abuse it. Yeah. And right. uh, conversely, Obama got blamed completely for the drone killings, which were very bad, but B Bush started it. Right. It started under Bush. So it's like, if it's being bad, it's often rooted in the last guy, too. Mm. Yeah. I guess we're just paying the price for a fucking 100 years of just, of just going, ah, eh, politicians. Paying the price. Politician. <laughs> like, like we, we, it's, but do we really have to? Man, I was We bored. never should have got those guys off those soapboxes. <laughs> Things would have been a lot better. You could just soap throw boxes. a tomato at them if they yes. did like, and they're like, hey, stop, I'm, have you seen my baby? Have you seen my baby? Stop, stop. Get off the <laughs> And also, the politicians can't be picking our pockets when they got their thumbs up in their suspenders like this one, where we can see their hands. That was yeah. why they did that. Whatever happened to... <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened to a good old whistle nothing stop my, tour? Nothing, nothing right here. <laughs> but the fact Teddy is... Teddy Roosevelt was the most attractive fat man <laughs> I can imagine. He was, like, robust. <laughs> But that, that, that memo that people are uh, tweeting, it, where it's like signed by Sessions, and it's like, it's like zero tolerance, like, here we go. That's a real thing. That's not like the libs going, we're connecting these dots. It's like, that, that's, that's the key, right? Is that, is that they were like, oh, let's jack it up. Like, we're, yeah, let, no, that's let's a, stop, it was a policy let's... change. Yeah, no, a very explicit policy change. And, and as a result, whether they intended it or not, there's like this wake of that motorboat that's like a bunch of babies being ripped from mother's arms. And they're like, yeah. either, what I can't tell is if, because is, is, is if they were like, yeah, there's going to be babies ripped from uh, mother's arms, but they're going to be a certain shade of brown baby and brown arm, and there's going to be a certain number, and we're going to keep ratcheting it up. We're like, it's like the motorboat in the no wake zone, just going like, Bruh! and pretty soon, and, and, and it's, it's all about that wall negotiation, right? Is that a re it's like, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I think that they intend to cause misery for uh, non-white families mostly at the border and uh, at other places where they detain immigrants. Yeah. Right. And I think there's people that want there to be family misery. Right, because they're... Because to deter people from coming no, in, which they is say a that. nightmare. Right, they say that out loud. They've said that. I mean, before it became controversial because we didn't have pictures, they were like, yeah, it's going to be great. We'll be separating families, and they'll be like, I don't want to separate my family. I'm not going to come to America. Like, that was what they were saying. This is the plan. But right. now that it's actually happening... They're like, this isn't happening. But, you know, before it was uh, like a political issue, you know, they were like, no, it'll be great. We're going to separate families. Like, and that was just, you know, what they were openly saying. You know how you compromise? Wall of babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're already there. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah. It's called compromise people. Is it, is it a wall of white babies? Huh? Uh, like front, they, that are no, facing outward? No. Hey, uh, Dan, Dan, take it easy. I don't, I want take it easy. I, th I think you wildly misread my point. Now, this, this wall is going to be brown, okay. brown, brown. But is that, so that's like a very grisly, you're talking about uh, like a Thunderdome thing where the, the babies are like, got the kids, like yeah, an the, example. The picture of the cage that all these kids are in, it, you're, you're making a Thunderdome people. I thought maybe like healthy, white, well-fed, uh, fat, white babies that are like facing uh, Mexico and the, and the sign says, look, we already have so many babies. <laughs> We're using and the, it and the babies are like, we love America. Don't come in here with your baby. I mean, I hear people say, oh, it's you should, it's 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 uh, it's not helpful to say that they're Nazis, and I hear that. I'm not sure where I <laughs> stand on it, but but definitely, if okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. For sake of argument, right. if they're not literally Nazis, they're at least like the bad guys from Children of Men. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and I, I think uh, like you, we're we're our own bad thing. We're yeah. our own bad thing, and we've got to stop it. 
Yeah, I don't. I, 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 here's the thing. I, 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 I like to think, like, I think in my listenership, uh, if that's a word, uh, there's probably everything but Nazis. Maybe there's a couple, like, there's probably a little churn coming through. <laughs> like, 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 well, I thought. I saw, Gork, Gorka could be a secret Nazi. I saw, I saw enough Rick and Morty to tune in. What was this cuck talking about? But, like, I, I don't. I, you could be a libertarian and listen to the show. You could be a Republican, a fiscal log cabin Republican. Like, I, you're probably not going to. You're going to go, oh, he's a big fat blowhard. Like, like I resonate with him. Like, you're, 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 you're welcome here. I'm not going to shame uh, you and stuff. Free like, markets. Uh, so and as you probably know, vindicated like, I was, I, was, I was the most apolitical, like, kind of like, like guy. Like, I was like, 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 it's like oh, I don't believe in politics. I don't believe in the election. And then it's like the election happened, and then it became fucking Schraub. I fucking hate Schraub. I hate him so much. <laughs> fucking hate him. You know, so I have one. I said, like, what do you want to talk about? Farts for an hour? It's, it's just you. It's all. It's just you. I was trying to trying to connect with you with the Seven Up thing. <laughs> Yeah, you're not giving Schraub enough credit for trying to connect with you earlier. I don't, I don't suffer I the illusion. See, I that never I'm see you be, anymore. I never I, see you anymore. I just want to have a conversation with my friends about what's going on in my world, which includes what's going on in other people's world. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm no not, one's I, stopping I, you. Yeah, you're not stopping me. You no look like a you. fucking like dead scarecrow over there, just <laughs> swiveling around in your chair, just <laughs> rolling his eyes and. He's like he's like mounting a thing. It's like you think I don't know what's going on? You got yeah. you got Schraub loyalists like 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 building in my crowd. I know Perhaps what's going on. Perhaps the most on. dangerous faction of all. He's splintering my people. Like, it's like people are coming here to see you. I see your t-shirt shop. I saw your t-shirt shop. I see you selling shit. <laughs> Why are you so mean? You're so angry. Anyways, we, Nazis, you, all I'm saying, <laughs> look, Nazis, all you got to do, like, because it's like, it's this, it's this faction of people that are like, it's, it's like, like, if you were to just be like, oh, I'm going to get a swastika tattoo and I, I hate everybody that's not me and like, uh, I'm a Nazi. Why would like, you do that? That's terrible. Like, the problem is that people that are like, they're like, whoa, 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 what's this Nazi talk? I don't like that. You know what I am? I'm a totally intellectual, logical guy who hates overreaction. I'd like to exterminate overreaction with some logical discourse. Why are you saying Nazi all the time? That seems really hysterical. I'm such a logical person. I'm definitely not a Nazi. I just happen to be arguing for calmness and discourse and both sides of the thing. And I'm like, you're a fucking closet Nazi. You're just biding your time. Like, 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 and I just say to those people, why are you afraid of honest debate? Yeah, like, why don't you, why don't you keep talking to me about whether or not we're Nazis? I'm just, because I'm fucking exhausted already. I, I, I'm a spoiled baby. Can I start punching you yet? Like, I, I like, I've only got so much time left. Jesus Christ. I, I like to imagine the, uh, like, current day, <laughs> if Hitler was here now, there would be, like, some bunker where he was like, <laughs> where he was like, we have 40,000 trolls we can send at Harmon. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just say to those people, hey, if you're really honestly, for real, you're like honest about this fact, and you're going like, you know what? We're never gonna turn Nazi. This isn't anything. Just, just, will you please, you know what would help you so much? Would you just, just Google 1933 Germany? Because you think you're gonna see a description that's going to, like, like just, just, just do an hour of fucking research, and if I'm wrong, you will be so much more armed in your next argument. You'll be able to go, uh, there's a lot of differences here, uh, I'm af but I'm afraid you're gonna see <laughs> like, like, uh, that, that, that everything has a ramp and that everything starts a certain way and that, and that marginalization and institu institutionalization of, uh, of, of it is like, it all takes the same form in the beginning and it's all very like argued about and people are always like amorphous and blurry about it. Like while uh, regimes change hands and cabinets switch around and everybody has these arguments and it's like the things that don't change are just these brick on brick on brick buildings and policies and things where people are separated and people are alienated and people are fucked. <clears throat> yeah, and there's, there's, a, there's like a long track record of other bad fascist dictators in other countries, but this it's not always like explicitly, we disagree with Hitler on five things. Right. There's other guys. There's and I Pinochet. Just really, I would love to, I like to, this is my style. I love to jump the gun on my Hitler comparisons. That's just me. I'm a gun jumper. 
on the Hitler comparison. I like to not wait until <laughs> it's actually Hitler. The early bird gets the Hitler. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I'd like to be wrong a couple times. Oops, that guy wasn't Hitler. He just hated Jews and wanted to be senator. Oh, well, down the drain you go, anti-Semitic senator that would have done great things for health care. Fuck you, you've reminded me of Hitler too early. That's the worst thing anybody said about me this hour. <laughs> All right, let's move into the fun things. Rob, take it away. Entertain us. Ah! Or I'll rip you from the arms of your mother and stick you in a fucking cage. What? Why? What? What? What did I ever do? Fucking entertain me. You're part of the show. <laughs> Ask me some questions. Oh, what about Transformers? What about soda? I, I like soda. I'm okay with Transformers. Hey, have you, have you seen this with the toys that made us on Netflix? They did a whole tr Transformers, right? A couple of them did a whole Transformers one, and you're all great about Trans. You love Transformers, right? Mm. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You should check it out. Yeah. You should check it out. Can you name all five Dinobots? All five Dinobots. Okay, Grimlock. Yes. Uh, I'm so excited. Scabies. Grimlock Scabies. smash. Scabies. Landing, Scabies. landing strip. He's two. What? He first is Grimlock, and then right to Scabies. James. Scabies was, when they formed the big thing together, he would like layer over the skin <laughs> of the big guy. Oh man, how amazing. Slag. Would Slag. Uh, Scaradactyle. That's not you, one. I think you're thinking of Swoop. So, uh, who? Swoop would swoop. be the pterodactyl. Swoop. Snarl. Snarl, thank you. Snarl. Snarl. Uh, do we, do we Snarf do, and uh, Snarl used to hang out at craft trans services. Transvaginal <laughs> mesh. Did we do slag? The slag slag, slag is in, yeah. the triceratops. Uh, stomp. Is that the, the is stomp? Is that the brontosaurus? Did, was he in the was he the Broadway show inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> there was Rent. It was Grimlock and four and S's. And Rent was the last. <laughs> Grimlock and four S's. Grimlock was the breakout star of the Dinobots. Yeah. He was the Joan Jett. <laughs> It's kind of an interesting transformer because his head, his robot head, was the size of a caper, and it was nestled deep within the chest of a of a uh, of a T Rex with a much larger, more majestic. Well, head. a T Rex would have a brain the size of a pea, Daniel. All right, so there is that. Ipso facto. <laughs> Rob, w w which yes, QED, which. Which three Transformers do you think you could do a passable impression of? Uh, well, Starscream, probably. <laughs> what, James, James, can you do any Transformers I, that aren't yeah. Starscream? Uh, oh, you're doing Starscream? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, he's... I'll do Megatron. Okay. Okay, okay, okay yeah. and then Dan, you be, you be Grimlock. Okay. Okay, so let's do a, let's do a little improv. Can I, can I get a place where three Transformers might meet? Barbecue. At a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any gluten-free options? Starscream, you're embarrassing me. If I have a wheat bun, I'm going to get brain fog. I am the leader of the Decepticons. I will order for you and there will be gluten. Wah! <laughs> I'm getting a rash on my knee. Barista will take three inner Ooh, cubes. Look who's here, Grimlock. Ooh, fucky sucky. Wow. Why did you come over here? Hey, hey, have you have you checked out this slime wave pornography? <laughs> Does that involve the false dicks? Starscream! It involves fake penises that squirt jeers. Fool! Oh. Grimlock Your likes obsession. slime wave. Grimlock have nylon fetish. Slime wave. Grimlock not know that nomenclature. But for a long time Grimlock been consuming <laughs> lesbian strap-on porn in which women wear pantyhose and are shot in high definition. 
slime wave. And also have huge uh, artificial tongs that shoot like trans- giant. I transform into a tiny slime wave dick that doesn't match the size I am as a robot. I will hold you and shoot you. That's, that's sound wave. I'm sound wave. Laser beak. <laughs> transform. Mission. No way! Two can play! <laughs> Blaster. <laughs> Oh, man, we're really taking a beating over here, Optimus. <laughs> it's a tape deck versus tape deck. <laughs> It'll be the battle of the cassette, guys. Hey, nobody calls Optimus uncharismatic. <laughs> First we crack the shell, then we crack the nuts inside. Oh, Optimus Prime, well, there's some crazy shit going on out there. I'm Scatman Crothers. I play a robot named Jazz. (laughs) In one of history's more embarrassing chapters. Well, I, I'm, well, I'm Ironsides, and I don't see a problem with it. Well, <laughs> as long as we can get along, I think that's fine. I'm a red state minivan, arguably the least fearsome of the Autobots. <laughs> and I'm from Alabama. Well, I'd love to help you as a beneficiary of the coastal elite. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Can we right. get back to this slime wave thing? I mean, I'm not weird if I'm into it. Grimlock already say love slime wave. Not oh. know it called that. Oh, weird right? name for something more beautiful than that to oh, Grimlock. Oh. Empowered women fucking each other with giant fake dicks. <laughs> Grimlock like look at their legs while they do it. Starscream, pull me out of Grimlock's ass. (laughs) Oh, my foot! You fool! (laughs) And (laughs) see. I think the word fool is only ever said by a villain to another villain. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that big of an insult, but if, you, fool. if you've had enough vocal training, it really lands. It sounds like... Fool! <laughs> you have failed to see the dangers of your hubris! Why right. don't you eat all the shit? Now you guys, you guys... Because I'm going to fuck it when I'm large size. Okay, all right. All now right. You, guys, you guys do, uh, you do uh, Cobra Commander and you okay. do Destro. Oh, boy. Isn't that the, is that the, that's the same two voices. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but their status is flipped. <laughs> Cobra Commander. Yes? We, we're here in this empty void space with no other suggestion or character. Mm. You and me! I've got a suitcase full of props. Here is a salamander. Here is a pair of scissors. Okay, all right, all right. Here's a ribbon. Freeze, freeze. Uh, Can I get a style of movie? Western, continue as a Western. Here is a six-shooter. That's not... That's all right. If you reach for it... I'll have to obey you. I'm reaching for it. Very well, sir. (laughs) Hi, guys. It's me, Sir Pantor. (laughs) Why are you floating so high up there? Come down here. Yeah, why don't you come down here to our level? I just want to let you guys know I really appreciate you making me out of the DNA of of six of the world's leaders. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Whatever that storyline was. Yes. Yes, it was Gorbachev, <laughs> uh, Amin. I feel like it was like like all of the world's conquerors with a convenient sidestepping of the. Gaddafi. Yeah. Listen, 
I, I'm, I'm 14 now, and uh, I'm just living up in the, in the attic room. We, we always pushed you too hard at a young age. I don't Can really I think own? we need this guy here. Excuse me, what? Sorry. I don't think, I just, I just we, why would we have another big bad? You know, we have, we are, the position is taken. Because you aren't good enough. I didn't ask to be uh, uh, modulated. <laughs> float. Serpentor! Serpentor! Cooper Commander! The Horizon! Look! The Joes' ground forces and air forces are approaching at exactly the same speed! <laughs> yeah. yee From their nearby base! Ski lift! Lasso dick! Megan's Law! Broken mirror! Go forward! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Shish kebab! Woo! S'more spatter! Ah! Woo! Robo boy! BTK! Power bottom! <laughs> <laughs> Bernie bro! <laughs> Gaslight! Uh, uh, actually. <laughs> what about? Uh, 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 um, um, I, what about the... <laughs> All right. The G.I. Joes would have to have, like, an internet force now. Yeah. Yeah. they probably get most of their work done uh, with, like, bot swarms and uh, <laughs> troll farms. <laughs> Barbecue, how's it going on that troll farm? Cobra never knew what hit him. Uh, are you just Southern because you're barbecue? I don't never, never heard my voice. I was more into Transformers. <laughs> what did barbecue sound like? I don't know. Same as Ironsides. <laughs> Ah. Vinegar, ketchup, and a gun smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now do the banana splits. I'm kidding, and that's for, that's for no one. <laughs> Spencer. Hey, guys. <laughs> the G.I. Joe's base was always a rel- like a, like a, just a nice commute away from where Cobra was. Yeah, I know. I always want. I, pi- I pitched it. I want to do. I want to do a show that's like. I was like. Like it's. I don't want to go all the way so ironic with it that it's like Robot Chicken, but I want to do like a Mad Men level workplace comedy that's that goes back and forth between GI Joe and Cobra, like like and just and just just like just. It, yes, it will be comedic, but on a grounded level, you know, like 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 accepting the what if of what if these organizations existed. Right. Then just like all the instant fucking pressure that that puts everyone under. Like, what are the women? We're having what are the problems women in with Cobra our funding. Feel? Like the, the, the the women in Cobra, they don't have HR. Like, you're not going to do bits of like, oh, Cobra has HR. But it's like you have women at work for Cobra, and they're going to be like, I need to fucking assert myself. It's like Orange is the New Black, you know, like they have a fucking like issue to deal with that is different from the women in GI Joe. And then like like it's just like just everybody just cracking all the time just everybody like they just go like so there's our, here's our uh, here's our here's our here's our briefing and then like go get them yojo and then like just st- the camera just stays behind and just have people just like rub their eyes and just <laughs> and then just have somebody come in and just but have that music going like burr, 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 burr. <laughs> hey you, can you can somebody pick up my laundry <laughs> i'm yeah. so busy right now there, there was an episode I saw as an adult, G.I. Joe, and they did, obviously they, none of it's written as comedy, so someone had to do this without making a joke out of it. But the Joes like crashed, a, they like crash landed into the Cobra base, and it broke through the wall, I swear to God, into the Cobra cafeteria. And there were all these Cobra guys with their lunch trays, they were like, Wah! and it was not played for laughs, but they had to animate it, get it back from Korea. <laughs> yeah, and that, I mean those guys. There's like so much intermingling. I mean, like one guy's another guy's brother. Like, like if you're in Cobra or GI Joe, you're you're in a fraternal organization. You know, like uh, like oh, Snow Steam, my long lost twin. From we, we were separated as as children right. by a ninja. Like yeah, like because he's me, but my action figures painted differently. Maybe the Baroness has like a valid grievance against GI Joes. <laughs> Scooped my eyeball out. Mm-hmm. I was tortured by them. Yeah, yeah. Like they're always like, "Oh, so much for the uh, compassionate left." <laughs> we never said we were left. We're, and I assumed <laughs> we were right wing. <laughs> Shit. Every, everyone's left of us, Cobra. <laughs> 
or are they, do they consider themselves left? That's another fact. That's amazing. That's what we need right now. We need Cobra and G.I. Joe engaged in adult dialogue so that the children that we are can start to understand how fucked the world is. Because uh, like, like, Cobra Commander wouldn't be like, you know, I'm... I'm kind of conservative. Like, he wouldn't consider himself conservative. He wasn't Perhaps like, horseshoe theory is valid. <laughs> the extreme right and the extreme left come back to join. <laughs> ah, another, another idea lost to the ages, you know? Lost to the ages. What do I got to do? Write a crazy script uh, and put it on Twitter and, you know, be like, yeah. mm, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, that's the most promising development process. <laughs> Write a fake thing, put it on Twitter, and then see if that works. <laughs> uh, like, you like my uh, Shabab, shabab. <laughs> Let me see if I got, I got one more thing. Can you hold this? James, you want to stick around and play some Dad? Dad? James, huh? do you want to stick around and play a little D&D with us to close the show? Yes, bit? yes, I am. Uh, oh, is it time? Is that I time? only know how to play Axis and Allies. I'm out of my depth here. <laughs> Spencer, can we, can we dovetail some domes in here? Uh, wh what? Can, can we bring James in, in, into the game here? Yeah, no, yeah. Which one? Did I talk about Both. that button? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, Cody it's, sent me this link to this article. It says, uh, 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 the headline says, uh, uh, Ohio man sentenced after attempting to seduce undercover officer with chicken Alfredo. <laughs> and it's just an article about a guy who got basically, you know, he's like, oh, uh, is an undercover officer in a chat room, and this guy thought he was talking to a 15 year old boy. Oh, shit, I lost it. Slime wave. Uh, and, he, and, 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 and he was like, I'll be there with. Slime wave is the perfect name for Sprite. a transformer. Yes. Wait. There's shock wave, Wait. sound wave. Yeah. Why not slime wave? How come wave? no one did slime wave? Slime wave. He transforms wave. into a dick. He arre he, he wait, let's just listen. This is good. We're gonna button this up. This is great. You're gonna oh love god. it. Oh god. Oh god. He thought Here he was goes. talking to a 15 year old boy online, but it was actually an undercover Austin Town police officer. Uh, he arranged to meet the officer in Austin Town. He planned to bring lubricant, Sprite, and chicken Alfredo to the date. <laughs> I'm telling, I'm telling Seven you. 7-Up just lost another, another fucking... Another customer. 7-Up, if you're listening to this podcast, get in the game. You are <laughs> losing. You are losing. You've been losing for a while, 7-Up. Seven 7-Up, seven you've been losing. I I'm know you guys did the Apex <laughs> when you did the Pac-Man commercial back in the 90s. They're, with a, the failing, they're a failing lime and soda. They're <laughs> lemon and lime, and they're failing at both. <laughs> we need to put thirst first. <laughs> I can't That's do That's the liberal alternative? A thirst first. I was soda trying policy. to do Trump and, and, and Wait, talk and Sprite talk. I don't even America know. America thirst. When, when, when our calories go low, their calories go high. Oh, Good. you don't want high Thank calories. You, <laughs> what I love about these these local news articles because they're like they're usually like oh this is California news or Los Angeles news or like like the desert region outside of LA news and then there'll be a, there'll be like one comment and it's just like somebody was like it'll say like 18 hours ago so you know like. This, this, this is foot, footprints in the snow. Like, this person is not, like, this is not a hot spot for this person. But, like, there was a guy underneath this article that was like, seven days? Uh, geez, no wonder we got a pedophile problem. And I was like, I, I, and I kept looking at them, like, where did he get seven days? I don't even know what he's talking about. Like, it's, I, like, I, it's like the ring. <laughs> seven days, by the way, probably would be a good, if, if he means seven days in prison, I think that would be pretty good for somebody who, Whose crime was like like meeting a meeting a cop in a chat room that like got them to say I'll fuck you with some chicken Alfredo like I I'm not that's I, I, that's all the FBI does like I, I yeah I, it's like, they go I, in chat rooms and go hey want to do a crime yeah my my heart goes out to 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 a law and, enforcement and do you, agencies do you, that do you like heavy creams and sauces <laughs> I feel I feel like oh you're not gonna make a headline by going. FBI realizes that cycles of abuse are the key and spends a bunch of money that will only pay off in 25 years when this generation of abused children stops abusing the next generation. The no long one's headline. The long headline. <laughs> yeah. 
J. Edgar Hoover left a time capsule that's going to make up for everything. So they're just like, how do he's, you, how do you know, bust gonna, a pedophile? How do you bust them? We need a big bust. We need a big pile of pedophilia on a table. Uh, so they, then they, and then, so then they go into Like on the rooms. local news? <laughs> and, then they, and then they're like, We hey, recovered hey. five uh, compact computers. I'm, I'm 15. I sure would like some chicken Alfredo. I don't know what I'd do for it. 44 kilos of chicken Alfredo sauce <laughs> in powdered form. It's fucking it's cold here. Is it? It's fucking freezing. Are you cold? It's not, yeah. It's, it's good for laughs, cold. right? Yeah. <laughs> Look, in my view, I feel that for far too long, the top 1% of 7-Up has gotten a far larger percentage of the bubbles than they deserve. <laughs> over over sixty so percent of the bubbles available that are carbon dioxide in the can of Seven Up are going to the top point zero seven of the soda at the top of the can. In my view, we should flatten the soda, remove all the bubbles, and we all get sweet li- lime flavored <laughs> syrup. Lemon and lime should not be. They, these are these are public resources. I, yeah, I, I I believe that the government <laughs> there should be a government allotted amount of lemon and lime <laughs> and carbon dioxide, and individual communities can do with it what they will. Uh, I miss. I didn't have any dinner. Me neither. What? So now I'm responsible for. I had a a pasta lunch. Did you have chicken Alfredo? I had a chicken Alfredo. Was that you? Uh, no. Oh. Never mind. I had an Impossible Burger with Joel. Nice. (laughs) Go on. I don't feel like I was supposed to feel bad about not feeding you a minute ago. Now you just tried to like brag that you ate food with our friend. You want to go for a baguette? No. Slime wave. Okay. <laughs> I'm like holed up in a bedroom eating protein bars, like just waiting, to, like, like whether it, 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 I die or... or uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shrub's dropping the mic. Maybe it's the power trying to come back on. Shrab's coming to Boston, and he just told me backstage that he's flying coach? Yeah, something like that. That's cool. It took me a while before I got bumped up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You got to put in the hours. (laughs) I'm going to to CradleCon. I'm going to be doing a panel, and I'm hoping Spencer moderates it. Yeah, he was hoping. Yep. I would have gotten you a first class ticket to Boston. I know. <laughs> why, don't try, why don't we try to upgrade him? I gotta, I gotta go to DC in July. Can you, uh, <laughs> will you help me out? <laughs> okay, here we go. Steve Levy, everybody! Yay. Yay. He's, he's, he's Levy, on the show. Oh. Park your buns. Somebody take care of me. I'm hungry too. God damn, I've been drinking nothing but vodka. I already booked so, Schraub first class to Boston and back. Wait a second. Well, that would make Schraub a fucking liar. Wait, so... I did it backstage when I found he out he was He ate dinner. Flying he flying first class. <laughs> what, he, this guy he doesn't even know what Slime Wave is. Jacques! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Jack Hughes. Why are you shaking your head Jack at me? Hughes. I don't know. Just, uh, you know. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I mean, why, was it, why were you flying coach in the first place? I don't, don't, why, I don't want to shame anybody that, that did this Well, you'd be shaming air? him? You didn't, no, you didn't no, no, he didn't, no, no, no. It's not... Uh, Who's it, who, well, who would it be on? Look at Why this character be? that's on the the bo- the popcorn bag. You Look at him. him. You love him. Look at him. He's, he's, that's, he's like that's he's. That's Bart Simpson's cousin. He's saying awesome popcorn. 
Awesome Look at that. That's pretty fun. I don't expect the venue to fly him out. I, 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 like, like, I know he's my no, burden. No, 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 no. I'm do- they invited me out beside, with, separate of you. And and there and, and and so you you went over my head and no and it turned out they'll no. only get you coach no I didn't go over anybody's head okay what airline is it JetBlue they listen to the podcast no longer <laughs> it's true yeah all right James you you understand the, you, you understand spells. the basic idea here right no you're gonna no, listen do to I have to pretend I get it. You're going to listen yeah. to Spencer uh, lay down the rules and watch the four of us make no sense out of what's going on. I did it once years ago, and it was widely panned on this very podcast. Really? Did you, did you, did you, who, did you make the mistake of following up, looking uh, at some Reddit thread or something? Oh, no, no, no. It was, uh, they, they, sent, they sent reviews to my house. That's <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Spencer, let me know when you're ready to go, and we'll do a little recap. Okay. Uh, give me the pot. Give, me, give it to me. He's not going to eat that on top of it? Give me, I'm starving. <laughs> Fucking. I fucked up. What's I didn't you? think about it. There's probably butter on it. Yeah, and there's probably butter on it. You want some? No, great. it's got butter on it. <laughs> no, popcorn's good for you. Butter? It's, it's got whole grains, they say, which seems I like, like a cheat. It's, got, like it's got whole grains like... Corn, like whole fucking kernels. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a whole grain. The whole, that's as whole as a grain can get. Yeah, cor- kernel is, is a grain. Corn doesn't yeah. seem like a grain. Corn seems like a, like a bunch of fruits on a stick. It's a whole grain. It's a whole bunch of grains. Right. All I'm right. not gonna write tonight. Don't You're gonna be in one of your popcorn hazes. <laughs> Blackout popcorn. Yeah. Sophie's Choice fucking Kevin Klein. I know you. Oh. You're hopped up on poppy corns, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> The facts, all right, see? are we all ready to pay attention to Spencer now? Yeah. That sounded accusatory. <laughs> it's yeah, all yeah. good. To, to them. Not to you. Right, no, I know. Yeah. I didn't think you were accusing me of not being ready to be listened to. <laughs> all right, here we go. Last time on Harmon Time, our heroes were still in that fight. They had gotten in that fight to find Patchens who had gotten in way over his head. And they did get in way over their heads, but they fought. It was a good fight, and uh, they basically won because, uh, well, what happened? A dwarf came out with a wiffle ball bat and teleported Jeff, who is currently a tree, into a shed. And then a bear showed up. His name was Bernie Mac. Um, The fight finished when uh, one of the guys dropped his gun and then someone, I think it was Steve, like cut him real bad with the sword and he started screaming and crying. And then like a dude came back to life and was a vampire and ran away. Anyway, find out whether or not they'll uh, solve the mystery. <laughs> now. Right. Thank you, Spencer. All right, so so let's, let's look around the room and see what the... See what the uh, uh, has the dust settled and we can look around and see Yeah, okay. Going? So Jeff, you've made it back to the guys. You're you're back in the underground of this 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 theater house. You're in the storage room. You're there and, and James, you're playing Barney Mac, who's a bear that literally just showed up and can talk. So you could do what a bear can do. Imagine imagine being a bear that can talk pretty much there. Um so like like country bear jamboree. Yeah. <laughs> except more dangerous or the sure. same amount of dangerous. Sure. Somebody, so, so, did, did, didn't somebody die a long time ago at the Country Bear Jamboree at Disneyland? Yeah, yeah. So Why down. are you looking at me? <laughs> yeah, because it, it's not the D and D. They got mauled by an animatronic it, bear. It's called <laughs> Eyelines. I don't want to upstage everybody by looking at this guy over here. Oh, he we came, want you to. He came swinging down on a on a porch swing yeah. and then just mauled them. <laughs> okay, just so jumped on. So we're under this theater. We got Barney Mac the bear. Yep. You got this guy who's screaming and bleeding, kind of like a hostage. <laughs> Everyone else is dead. <laughs> but I can talk. Hey, Carlos, Carlos, interrogate this guy before he bleeds out. I interrogate this guy. Okay, how do you want to do it? I put my foot on him. <clears throat> no, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. Classic criminology. <laughs> I, 
I, well, can I, can I use a, 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 a form of the spell? You know, I have like cure light wounds and I can use those to inflict wounds. Mm -hmm. Would that be to say that I could like, could I use my wound affecting energy to kind of like basically magically uh, uh, open and shut his wounds? You, you can do that, but it would take like basically the last of your magic because you've been casting a lot of spells today, so you're well, pretty low. Well, it should be worth it. I'm I, sure I, it's going to be a jackpot yeah, of information. I, mean, I, I, I have, a, I have a, the spell stabilize, which can cause a dying creature to stabilize their condition. Well, so I you can I kill them. I don't think we want them stabilized. I think we, we're going we're gonna to milk the fruit that is a, a, a man on the cusp of, of, right. of both worlds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you exist on the threshold of what the Church of Silver Light regards as worthy. You can make a choice. Provide us with information that will guide the light to cleanse the world and slip back into mortality. Or lose your grip forever and plummet in the margins of the forgotten. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, not, not bad. He he goes. Oh yeah. No. Okay. What do you want? That's that's crazy. You know, I just got into this because I love acting. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like someone's acting like they don't have the information that we want. I'm not. What's Where it? is the gem? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, Patchen's gem. No, I'm kidding. I don't say Patchen's gem. <laughs> Uh, God damn it! It's this is the part where I fail. You can ask me questions. I have a question. Okay. Am I the bear that mauled the guy? Is that why he's been hurt? Not that guy. Oh, you okay. killed the other guy. Like he's dead. The other, the guy you killed is dead. Okay. So <laughs> I, I was worried you were undoing my work. Sorry. <laughs> I look through the body of the dead man. Okay. He's already been looted by Jeff. Okay. I look through his body. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't look through his clothes. I look through his body because I'm like Swamp Thing, all right? So I'm going to look inside. Uh-huh. Right? Right. What do I see? What do you mean by look inside? Like using extrasensory perception? I look <laughs> inside his body. Okay. <laughs> It you you, like you mean like, like looking inside his w open wounds? Like, do you open him up? Yeah. <laughs> his butthole? Okay. No. <laughs> okay, all right, so... I open up his mouth and I look inside okay. his body. Yeah. Swamp thing style. Right. Um, he looks like a, like a person. Um, you learn interesting things. And? About hu humans. And? That's okay. all. I didn't read Swamp Thing. <laughs> or listen to it. Was it a sound? It, it was a sound. Okay. The environment yep. gets mad at people and sends Alan Moore to write something. And no, uh, I, 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 snake, I, I snakey vine like down his throat and look around, you know? Yeah, okay, so the dead guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's normal, but dead. Okay, all right. Sorry. Normally well, dead. Yeah, he's entirely precedented hey guys, in his deadness. Nothing. <laughs> Couldn't find anything. You guys see all that unfold. All right, I'm Spencer, out of well, ideas. You, Spencer, you said yeah. I could ask you questions. So yeah. Yeah, I would take a fucking like a, a lifeline there and go, okay, I'm drunk when we're playing this. Yeah. I, I don't remember over the spans of the ages. What the right. hell? Who could? I saw, like we were we were we were on this case. We we trace these guys down. It's like they, like we're looking for the these like uh, dragonborn kind of dragon marked guys, right? Like, a like, little bit. So okay, you came here looking for the gem. Um, you found that Shrove might know where the gem is. You took Shrove hostage, and he wasn't talking. You right. found a tiny bit of information about a drop point, but you didn't know where the drop point right. is. Right, okay. You, right. you thought Shrove could help you out, but he didn't, and he <laughs> fucked off. So okay. then you went looking, essentially, for more clues, and that's where you are now, okay. still right. trying to find that drop All point. Right. So We've here been we go. Room. Where's Shrove? Yeah. Uh, there we go. I don't know, man. I think he was fighting the fire. You know there's a fire happening right now? You piece of shit! I didn't do it. 
By the power of the silver flame, you shall know a fire. I'm complying. What? I'm complying. Well, where's Shrove? I don't, I don't, I think he might be fighting fires. Okay, one more thing, though, just The silver flame is not helping with the fires that are raging. Right, thank you. (laughs) I could connect those dots, that would be fine. What are you guys talking about? I want to ask you one more thing. Uh, Wait, so this where's Shrove, and uh, where's the drop point? Probably where the fire is. Um, let me... No, I don't think it is, but it seems like the fire might get close if you don't hurry. I'll tell you where it is. Where it is. It's in Boykin's Pig Farm. (gasps) What's your name? My name is Burf Boro Binkus. Do do your friends call you something (laughs) shorter? Binkus. But, sorry? Binkus. Binkus? Binkus. Vinkus? Binkus with a Bink- B. Binkus? Binkus. Bink- Bickus? Hey guys, Boro guys, Binkus. guys, 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 uh, guys. Do you guys smell fire? Binkus? Binkus. Binkus? <gasps> I can't understand. Let's just all decide to call him Binkus. Binkus? Is, that, is Binkus close? It's very close. All right, Binkus. You lucked the fuck out. By the power of the silver flame, your wounds are healed. Oh, thanks, man. Move on, move well, on. I'm tell, like me, a... tell, tell us the name of the pig farm again. Boykin Hodge's Pig Farm and Stablery. Let's go. <laughs> so help me Christ, Bingus. <laughs> Once Christ is invented. I'm scared of this fire. It's all right, Bernie. <laughs> you can call me Orson Welles. <laughs> the bear. So help me Christ, Bingus, if we go to that fire and it doesn't pan out for us, and yes, you have to allow for the fact that we're inept, so it might work, not work out for us Shit. through no fault of your own. We will be back and we will fuck you up. We'll fuck up your family. We will rip the children from your mother's arms, and we will put them in things that we convince people aren't cages, and if they still convince us they're cages, we'll say it was Obama's idea. Like, we can go round and round, Bingus. I'm trying to help. How, how, how do we get to the pig farm? Which direction is it? North. <laughs> Wait, guys, I have uh, no direction, so I can, I, can, I can discern north. Oh. It's that way. All right. <laughs> Follow me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Am I cool to join you guys? Yes, please do. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm loyal to your party, but it seems fun for now. A lot of people that have no direction, you, you're not supposed to follow. But okay. yeah, no one tells bear rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you head outside, and there is indeed a fire. Um, it's it's it started by the tavern, and it's grown wildly out of control on account of the uh, the town is protected by a big flammable wall. So it's starting to engulf the town as you head north to Boykin Hodge's pig farm, which you do. Did we start this fire? Uh, <laughs> we didn't start the fire. <laughs> It was always burning, arguably. Yeah. It seems too big to have started it, but you do remember starting a fire. I was, it wasn't my brand of cigarettes. <laughs> you go to the pig farm. It's, uh, it's like a farmhouse with like a little... With a little uh, no, sorry. It's a farmhouse with a barn. So then the barn is next to the stablery, which is like a, a customer-facing stablery where you put your own horses and stuff. And then out the back behind the barn, that's where all the pigs is. Are they... Uh... We got to save these pigs. <laughs> the pigs are in back. No, no but we have to find... So this, we, should, should, we should have asked specifically where the drop point... Who? Uh, Bingus. We should have, we should have oh. asked him. You can ask him. Oh, uh, Bingus, we're specifically where at the pig farm? Because like, like, a point sounds very specific. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. It's in this corner of the third pig stable. Thank you. Uh-oh. So help me Christ, Bingus, if you're lying. <laughs> Do we have to throw birds at it, the, all the pigs, to make them fall down? <laughs> that, I, I don't know nothing about no pig fighting. Bingus, if you're lying, I'm going to wear your ass like a uh, face mask. (laughs) 
Mm. I'm going to go for trick or treat as your ass. <laughs> and it's going to be one of those costumes where it's just most of the attention is put into the plastic your ass face and then the rest is just a plastic apron with a picture of you from head to toe on it which a lot of people will point out is not a costume would the singular hole be for your mouth or your one eye for one eye probably I don't think Bingus wants to find out okay yeah man I I don't know you should talk to Boykin Hodge we'll talk to him he doesn't really talk hey guys I don't know I mean like what are we doing here? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to question a lot. I mean, you guys were cool for letting me come along, and we had some fun. But oh, what God. are we doing? Why don't you All right, well, let's get. Can we get to the? S- s- stick it out, uh, sh- Gary. I go to the his name is Gary Shambling. He's a shambling mound. I'm a shambling mound. I'm getting hungry. Can I eat a pig? There we go. Yeah. We'll, we'll incentivize Barony Mac to come along. Let's go to the pig farm. Third what? pig's pen, from the left, in the corner. Drop point. No one should be eating the. P- they're adorable. We gotta uh, save the pigs from the fire. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gary, back me up on this. Let's get, let's just do one thing, one thing right. We, we, <laughs> Until we decide, I'll just have this pig sitting in front of me with an apple, and I'll be deliciously <laughs> sharpening my knife. <laughs> let's go to the let's go to the cocksucking pig farm. Wait a minute. What kind of pigs are these? (laughs) Pigs are having a real blast. (laughs) These, what? This is a different kind of pig farm. (laughs) I start wandering off just like muttering to myself. Wait, are these just sex pigs? (laughs) Yes, yes, you can do whatever you want to these pigs. It's, it's It's pretty gross. It's it's a little gross. It's a little hot. You, you know, the, the customer is always right. Let let where is there like what's the cutest one? <laughs> like what's what what like where? Charlotte? Charlotte? Okay. Why is she the cutest? <laughs> I, Let's just go. I, I'm just, I go I, to the third pig pen. All right. You go, you go back to the pig area and you see uh, appear almost as if supernaturally like this crazy old bald guy. He looks like a really angry farmer, like, a, like an old hard-worn farmer. He's Sir. He goes... <coughs> Are you choking? <coughs> I think you, we got to do the Heimlich on this guy. You all right? He points he's, to his voice. He's and then about to like, have... Vocal surgery. He points yeah. to what? He, he points to a big button on his chest. He points to what? <laughs> I think I think he doesn't. I think he can't speak. I think he's lost the ability he to speak. He points at you while he you're saying He points at that. me. He points at you while he's saying I can that. speak. Oh, he's pointing like bingo, like he can't speak. Hey, right. why can't you speak? Are you dying? No, he shakes oh, his head. Oh, you just can't speak. Does anybody know sign language? Are you a good uh, person? He's, he nods, yeah. He's what? He nods. Y- he nods. Is this the drop point? Yeah, he, Darth he, Vader would nod. He looks at you quizzically like he doesn't know. Do you know, know who Darth Vader is? Uh, does, can anyone, uh, does anyone telepathy? Darth Vader would nod. Wait, well, well listen, we're here. To, we're, we're, I, can, sh- I can do sign language, but whenever I do, I accidentally slash people with my <laughs> claws. <laughs> you have bad depth perception. We're I'm bigger than I think I am. We're here for the drop. He uh, he just looks at you like he doesn't he doesn't know what you're saying. Uh, have, you, have you heard of anyone named Patchins before? He shakes his head. No. That, that, no. Do you have a gem? He Are you waiting for a gem? He squints his head and he goes, No. Are you waiting you waiting for a delivery? He 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 thinks like he's remembering and then he goes out outside uh out, out around back of his house. He goes, hey, hey, where are you going? <laughs> 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 oh, I guess we follow him. Dude, when you said this guy appears, you don't mean like ethereally. No, he's like, but he's like a normal guy. R- like in those scenes where it's like a creepy guy and it's like, oh, he wasn't there. You Out know? of the shadows. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go to Camp Blood Archer. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's exactly the trope I was trying to hit, yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's fucking take this guy. Look, look, look. 
Wait, he, did, did he walk out beckoning us to follow, or he just he just walked out? He was being creepy about it, so you couldn't tell. Okay, so I I I uh, I uh, like what's my like thing where I conjure up like a, like a light so we can see in, in the uh, in the darkness of the pen. Dancing lights. Sure. Yeah. I, uh, or I, sure. I, I, I just have light. I can I can make things a torch. Oh yeah. Okay. So I reach down and pick up a stick. Poof! It's a torch. It is. I look around and examine the the, uh, the corner that he was in. The corner he was in. Oh, I just the, the, the whole pen. Wait, the, say that again. I, I examined the pig pen that he, that we okay. discovered. So you, so you are following him then? Okay. I, 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 <laughs> you, did he get up and leave the pig pen? Or he he still... didn't get quite to the pig pen. Oh, okay. Oh. We then, thought that we were arriving at the pig pen and meeting him. Right. And now he was just like, Okay, yeah. So, well, I, sorry. So sorry yeah, if I, I was wrong. I, let's follow him. Let's see, let's yeah. see where this leads. Uh, yeah. follow, okay. Follow, we'll follow him. He goes, he goes around back to the pig pen and he goes and stands in front of the third one. And he's just kind of like looking at it, looking in the corner. And he goes, <laughs> huh. All right. Will somebody give this guy the Heimlich? Heimlich? Uh, you know, I, 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 I examine, I use my light and examine the pen. Um, all right. You do that. You find, a, you find an old muddy sack in the corner of the pen, hidden under mud. You love those muddy sacks. I, I leap on that sack and I open and I open it up. Oh shit! What you is do it. I look the, inside. There's a gem. God oh! damn it! We did it! We fucking did it! Outrageous! <sighs> we did everything wrong, and it led to outrageous. We got it. We got Patchen's gem. Where is Patchen's? Truly outrageous. What about this farmer? Can I maul him for fun? No, well, he, as no. you say that, it seems like while well, everyone's excited over the gym, he's picked up a brick and has started Outrageous. creeping towards you. Creeping towards us? Yeah, with a big brick in his hand. I'm okay, telling maul, you, maul let him. me maul the guy. Wait, I'm all Ready? Him. Okay. Ha ha, country bear. Ha ha ha, country bear. Ba da ba do ba da ba ba da. And then I do the uh, bear rape, like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and I leave him for a second, and then I come back. <laughs> you don't come here for the gem drop off, do you? <laughs> Guys, do we need like another like monster like in our group? I mean, like, I mean, do we need one? There's a guy Whoa, with, there's I'm a guy with a brick. I'm feeling unwelcome <laughs> all of a sudden. I, I cast Dazzle so he can't see. Well, the bear attacks first. Hold uh, up. Oh, so I, I hold on to my Dazzle, but I got it like, like, like it's up here. You're, it's ready to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, the bur uh, Orson Welles attacks, attacks ho uh, Boink and Hodge, and, and you just get him, you smack him in the face, and then you just bite him right in the chest, and you just start Ow. ripping him apart. And he starts hissing and screaming. He's like, <laughs> and he's screaming, and his teeth are sharp, and it seems like he's a vampire. Uh oh. <laughs> You're eating a vampire. Uh, is that? I don't know how the rules work. Does that make me <laughs> contagious? Uh, you also don't know as a bear. Should I get a tetanus shot? <laughs> you... <laughs> Shit, I'm a cleric. I'm a cleric. God damn it. I'm a cleric. I think you're out of magic now, because you used it on the guy. Yeah, but you have to have faith. <laughs> you ever see Fright Night? That's fair. Well, I guess it would be nice. Uh, okay, I'm out of magic. I'm out of magic. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure there's some passive ability to turn vampires. What, what's, what's our proximity like to each other and to Boinkins? You're within 10 feet of each other. I have a question. Yeah. When I'm a shambling mound, okay, so I'm, you know, like a plant creature, mm -hmm. right? Right. Is there any wood in me? Yeah, there's some woodier kind of branches. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I go up to him and I do one of these. Oh, that's not, I thought. What did you think I, I was going to I thought like a do? stake in the heart. I thought yeah, a stake yeah. in the heart. I didn't I'm know you were going to. There's no Jesus in this world. <laughs> We thought you were going to sacrifice one of your limbs so that we could stake him through the heart. What, are we going to wait for Christ to be born? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I did it wrong, so we'll do it your way. It's your stake. Stake through the heart. That's got to be uh, dimensionless. Do you have a hammer? What? Do you have a hammer? 
I you don't need one. It's your fist. All I right. got a claw. Just punch him. Okay, I'll punch him with one one of my yeah, stick fingers in stick the heart. Finger <laughs> and aim for his heart. Aim for his heart. And stick then finger. Bear, you can hammer his elbow if that's. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I I honestly <laughs> think we only need one monster. Right. I think that's a little bit <laughs> turf war ish. Yeah. I well, think. Yeah. Well, I think. I there's was here first. I'm not disputing that, but everybody else is being cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Look, Whatever. I eat stuff that you guys don't, like uh -huh. some of your allies and other right, creatures. Right, right. Okay. Can I finish what I started here? <laughs> Stick my finger in his heart. All right. Um, as he's being mauled by the bear, he's pretty easy to hit with your, with your stake fingers, and you stake him right in the chest. Nice. And he, uh, he explodes into dust around a skeleton. Yeah. Ah! You did it! Gary Shambling, he did it. Oh, I, was, I wanted to eat him. <laughs> Can I collect some of the dust and put it in my glass jar? Yep. I do that. that Why? Probably is Why? What that's, that's probably a crafting ingredient. You don't know. Why? What? what? It's probably I a crafting ingredient. It's, it's a keepsake. It's vampire dust. Steve's what are you shaking your head? Game. You're made out of swamp leaves. Hey, like, you know, you're made out of meat. Okay, is like, that a threat? I just want to collect some vampire dust. I, like, so oh, nothing God. says back to school like you vampire know, dust. <laughs> okay, well, guys, we did it. We got Patchen's gem. Where's Patchen's? Do we know this is Patchen's gem? What if it's just another? Of course, it's Patchen's gem. You got a strong sense. It's I, uh, I, I I I loot the uh, I go to the, the, the uh, to Boink Boinkins's clothing. You get seventeen gold as well as a compass. I split it. I split it up evenly amongst the five of us. Y'all get oh. three gold. All right, we All right. need this Thank gem you. put somewhere where it will not be waylaid. You know, while they're doing that, Nobody's I'm gonna just gonna <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> while they're doing that, I'm just gonna kind of. Wander out alone. I just need to be alone for a bit. All right. Let him, I, let, guys. Let, let him. Let him go. I'm just let like. Him, just let him I'm go. Just like. How long I'm is the bear gonna last? I'm so. That's not a summon bear. I don't think. I think. It's I'm just gonna a bear. split with the, my share of the gold ASAP. Because I keep thinking like the <laughs> best place to hide a gem in is my a, ass. A bear's ass. Oh. Like who's ever gonna okay, rob? Okay. <laughs> I, I walk away from all of this. You know, they can argue about all that, and I'm just going to kind of just... I'm no, gonna I walk do sh I'll have you know all I right, do shit okay. in the woods. I follow Gary Shambling. I follow him, okay? I don't know if he'd like that. I know, well, I, I don't expect him to. There oh, needs to be a well transition. Hey, Gary. I'm sitting on the road. You Gary. Know, I'm just like kind of like looking at the dirt and playing with, with a rock that I found, and I'm just like, yeah, what... Killed, couldn't have killed that vampire without you. Thank you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Helped us get Patchen's gem. I it you know it just it's not fun anymore. <laughs> you say anymore, but this was your first adventure. I've been doing this a long time, and it gets worse than this. <laughs> I uh, I just I'm just like I I didn't li let my dog out before I left the <laughs> place and. <laughs> Gary, I'm just starting to worry that it's this is as good as it's gonna get. I mean, like, I mean, I thought it would be more than this, and it's just like we're we're hurting people, and you know, I don't know what. what are we the good guys mm. or the bad guys? No, sometimes we're the bad guys, and it often coincides with us being disunited and confused about what we did last week, and that's seem, why it seems like we're always talking over each other and yeah, screaming. Yeah, well, that's why we need the the the, the cure to this problem is commitment to a weekly schedule and people sh <laughs> people showing up and 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 listening and 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 give and take and all this stuff and i know that it would be better with you you know and well, i want to invite well, you i mean i'm just like we're, the bear is it right i mean are we going to get another that bear this bear is here to plug some fucking improv show he's doing right, okay like we don't even know this, this bear is here today. Mind if I, mind if I just oh, pop over? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm in the Sunday company at the Groundlings. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> and it's my last six months, so if you could <laughs> want to pop by. <laughs> I've got 
flyers, but they're a little claw shredded. <laughs> Look, I mean, I t- <laughs> yeah, of course. Karen Mariyama is my teacher. <laughs> Of course we're going to come to your show. Great, great, great. Um, <laughs> now, there's a limit. I can only get three people Oh, in. okay. Well, I thought I saw D- Del Close over there by the bushes. Uh, anyways, Gary, we'd love for you to continue to be a part of our, our gang. Okay. But... I'm up inside the farmhouse trying to loot the farmhouse. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I could, I could probably, I could probably hang out for another day or two or something. But if the bear stays, is it a deal breaker? Are no, you no. By I the just, bear? you know, I, w- I was like, I started, you know, like carving out like a niche and like, mm-hmm. in, and then all of a sudden he's like all over. M- I don't know. It, it's it's uh, I don't know, whatever. I mean, it's just been rough, you know. Like I, I'm just really tired. I need to. I should have. I missed. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's a bunch of shit. Don't Can worry I, about. It. Don't worry. About it. Mind if I offer a, just to say, if I'm passed on at the Groundlings, <laughs> I probably will have to go do that anyway. <laughs> So, I mean, for me to continue being here and bothering you, I would no, have to you're not, not bothering, pass you're not the Sunday bothering Company me. ground. I just, you know, it's my stupid... I'm wandering around the front room with my, with my flashlight, still like checking things out. I, I grab it's Charlotte, the most adorable pig, and I, and I walk over to Gary, and I'm like, this, look at how cute this little pig is. She loves you. That's a mm. sex pig. Mm. <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> Thank you one and all for coming down here to MacArthur Park in Los Angeles, California. Let's give it up for James Adomian. And everybody here is Zach, Spencer, Chris, Sarah, Levy, of course, Steve Levy. Brian and you song and Nolan and everybody here at the fantastic uh, Steppen, Steppenwolf, whatever the fuck. Let's give it up for Rob Schraub. Spencer Crittenden. I'm a comptroller, Jeff Davis. Give it up for your mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon.